Madrid is the current best team in the world, while FC Barcelona, their rivals, are ranked in 8th place. However, today that is going to change as I'm going to make FC Barcelona the best team in the world. As we are presented by one of the best teams in history, we have a lot of pressure to win the Champions League. As I take a look at this team, I know I have to sell a lot of players to start a brand new generation here at FC Barcelona. So I've gone ahead and sold two club legends in Jordi Alba to Arsenal for 27 0.5 million and Sergi Roberto to Juventus for 21.4 million and then I made a controversial decision as I shake hands with Carlos Ancelotti and sell Frankie de Jong to Real Madrid for 130 million and now with selling those three players we have accumulated 392 million and as I take a look at this brand new side I think we need a new left back and a new center back as we're gonna move Jules Conde to the right back position. But these players cannot be no average players. If we're gonna become the best team in the world in this first season since we're in the Champions League, we have to sign two amazing players. And for that left back position, we have signed superstar Archa Fakimi for 70 million from PSG and Josip Gavardiar for that center back position for 51.7 million. Amazing two defensive signings. And we now go ahead and add Gavardiar and Hakimi to this team. We have a brand new generation here at Barcelona. It's time to test this brand new team. And to test out this brand new amazing team with all the signings they have made in the summer as well as the ones we have made, we're going to play against Rayo Vallecano away from home to see if we can pick up a victory. Rafinha on the ball, through ball, it's Robert Lewandowski, Lewandowski's clear with the brand new signing, can he go ahead and score his debut, Robert Lewandowski with a shot and he puts it away, Robert Lewandowski is going to be the main man in this team if we even want to have a chance of getting out of the knockout stages in this season. But the red blows a whistle, it was going to be a very easy victory as we take that Rayo Vallecano, definitely a relegation candidate, but now it's time for the Champions League draw to see who is in our group. But now, it's time to find out who is in our group. As we scroll down, we are in Group C. We have Inter Milan, Bayern Munich, and Victoria Pizen. Wait, that's just the group from real life. I don't even know why I hyped it up. I, I completely forgot that it's based off real life. But here is the start of our Champions League campaign. We know FC Barcelona. We're in the Europa League last season. But this time, it has to be different. Our opening game is against our toughest team in the group stages against Bayern Munich. But let's see if this brand new team can achieve this. But two giants already in the opening day of the Champions League. Bayern Munich versus FC Barcelona with Araujo as our captain. Sadio Mane on the ball in the 60th minute. It's been a dull game so far. Sadio Mane through ball into Thomas Muller. Please, the captain of Bayern Munich cannot score. Thomas Muller, he puts it away. We have done nothing against Bayern Munich. And the first attack they get, they score. We need to be beating these teams because they will be in the knockouts with us. Pablo Gavi through ball into Ansu Fati. The youngster, the number 10. Can he go ahead and fill in the boots of Messi and score? And equalize this game. Ansu Fati cuts inside Ansu Fati with a shot. And it's a brilliant save by Neuer. The ref blows the whistle. We lose 1-0 to Bayern Munich. Our opening game. This is not good, man. After that first game, we're sitting at the bottom of the table. And up next, we're playing against Inter Milan in the Camp Nou, who are sitting in first place as we walk out here. This is not also going to be an easy game. We have a very tough group. We need to beat the likes of Inter Milan if we couldn't beat Bayern Munich. Dembele gives a pass into Robert Lewandowski. Through ball into Ansu Fati. Missed in the 90th minute last time around. Crossing into Robert Lewandowski with a beautiful finish. What a way to score your first Champions League goal in one of the greatest teams in the world. Robert Lewandowski. Welcome to the blood ground up. We score our first UCO goal this season. Pedri gives the ball to Usman and Dembele into Ansu Fati with a shot and it goes in. Ansu Fati redeems himself from the last game in the 85th minute to surely close out this game. We pick up a 2-0 victory against Inter Milan. That is three points added to our UCL campaign. And now two games into the Champions League campaign. We're now sitting in second place where we're playing against last place Victoria Plezen. Let's see how we do. So Ronald Araujo walks us out to our next game against Victoria away from home. We are fresh from a victory against Inter Milan. This should be an easy game. Dembele through ball into Robert Lewandowski. Scored a screamer in the Inter Milan game. Robert Lewandowski can he score his second? Lewandowski and he gets the second goal of the Champions League. This is going to be a clean sweep. We should be winning 4 or 5 0 against this team. And it's another through ball into Robert Lewandowski with a finish. And once again, Robert Lewandowski, the best, the greatest striker in the world, has scored his second goal of the game. We're going to win this game easily. Usman Dembele through ball. Can we get another goal in the 35th minute? Into Lewandowski and the game's over, man. Lewandowski is just too good. He's 
been absolutely carrying us in this Champions League campaign. As long as he stays fit and he doesn't leave the club, we should be fine. The ref blows the whistle. We do pick up another three points. Robert Lewandowski has been an amazing signing for us so far. Picks up his match ball. Let's go ahead and see how the results are halfway through the UCL campaign. We are now three games in into the UCL campaign. We're six points tied with Bayern Munich. But up next, we have Victoria Plaza. And once again, we should pick up another three points. And who else but Robert Lewandowski to be the leader of the Golden Boot for the Champions League with four goals. But this time, we are at home against Victoria to hopefully pick up another three points and maybe even secure our place in the Champions League knockout stages. We should be winning this game. 20th minute, Robert Lewandowski to score. His fifth goal of the campaign. He's been carrying us. Surely, he's going to score this penalty. Robert Lewandowski steps up to take it. He goes to the left-hand side. It's too easy for man. This Champions League is way too easy for Robert Lewandowski. We're going to easily breeze past all the way to the semi-finals at least with Robert Lewandowski up top. And you know what? It was a boring snore of a game. I'm kind of disappointed in myself to only pick up a one-up victory. But you know what? A victory is a victory as we pick up another three points. We now have two games left in the group stages of the Champions League. But trust me, even though we're sitting in the first place, if we lose to Bayern Munich and Inter Milan win, we do have nine points alongside Bayern Munich and Inter have 12. And that means we have to beat Inter Milan on the final day if we do lose to Bayern Munich. So this is shaping up to be our biggest game of the Champions League. We are at home in the Camp Nou. But last time around, in a boring game, we lost 1-0 to Thomas Muller. So hopefully this time around, with Robert Lewandowski in form, he can send us to the knockout stages. And now it's a through ball to Robert Lewandowski. The main man, he's been carrying us all season. His back must be hurting. And of course, he delivers his sixth goal of the Champions League campaign. He is just way too good, man. Pedri gives it to Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski through ball into Ferran Torres. Can he also create? Here comes Ferran, looking for his first UCL goal. He comes back, gives it to Robert Lewandowski. Has a shot, and it's a brilliant save for Neuer. As the ref blows the whistle, we pick up a 1-0 victory. We have gone ahead and passed to the knockout stages. But if Inter Milan win their game, that means on the final day decides who gets first and who gets second. So Inter Milan do win their game. We're both on 12 points. We are ahead on goal difference. If we win or draw this game, we do go in first place and hopefully get the easier opponent. So we are walking now in a San Siro. This is a classic of a match. Two teams on 12 points. Two teams fighting for that top spot for the Champions League knockout stages. Let's see if we can beat Inter Milan at their home stadium. Lukaku through ball into Lautaro Martinez. He is 1v1. Hakimi, can you please catch up against your old teammates? Lautaro Martinez looking for a shot. Hakimi makes a tackle, but it's a penalty. Hakimi tries to make a good tackle. I don't even blame him, to be honest. Lautaro let go of the ball, and he wins the pen. But Lukaku is going to step up for the penalty. Can he go ahead and miss this penalty? And no, he puts it away. Enter, go 1-0 up, and we may finish in second place of this Champions League campaign. Here comes Asufati looking to equalize this game 32nd minute. Cuts back, gives it to Ousmane Dembele with a shot. It gets blocked. Ousmane Dembele with the follow-up shot, and he puts it away. Terrible goalkeeping from Onana, but we have equalized this game. We may go through as a first place if the results stay this way. The ref blows away, so the game finishes 1 1. We go through a first place with 30 points, only going through on goal difference. And Robert Lewandowski is a top goal scorer with six goals. However, something very terrible has reached our inbox. As you can see from the team management, Robert Lewandowski is injured. I have not checked how long. Hopefully, it's only for two weeks because he's been our best player and he's out for the rest of the season, bro. He's been our best player and he's out for the rest of the season. The only saving grace we have is that it is January. Let's see who we can buy. So this January, we have 295 million and there is only one player we had to sign. We have decided to go ahead and bring back Lionel Messi back to Barcelona for 70 million. Bring back the captain, the greatest player of all time for Barcelona. Let's see if he can take us to the Champions League title and make us the best team in the world. And since Messi has joined back, we have given them the number 10 and that captain's armband, stripping it from Araujo because we had to give it to Lionel Messi. But now, it was time to find out. We finished in first place. Who do we get in the round of 16? And we get RB Leipzig. RB Leipzig might be one of the easiest opponents in this campaign. And since we reached the round of 16 of the Champions League, we moved back to 10th place in the club rankings. But here are the other nine teams that are better than us in the world. We have Atletico Madrid, AC Milan, Napoli, Chelsea, Inter Milan, Liverpool, PSG, Manchester City, and Real Madrid, of course, being the best club in the world. But as we walk out in the Red Bull Arena, RB Leipzig are nowhere near in the top 10 of the rankings. So surely we should be dominating these next two legs. And so far, the ball. I see Messi in his first ever start back at Barcelona in a UCL campaign. My Lionel Messi looking for a shot and it's a brilliant save from Mingo Lens. Timo Werner finds the ball to Haidara. Haidara into Dani Olmo. Dani Olmo has a shot and Dani Olmo a player 
who came through the Barca Youth Academy, has put us 1-0 down in the first leg to RB Leipzig. We were confident going into this match knowing RB Leipzig were nowhere near the top 10 club rankings and we're losing right now. But we do have a penalty. Lionel Messi to score his first goal back at Barcelona. It is a penalty. He's surely going to score this. Lionel Messi, no chance. He was going to miss that. The captain, Lionel Messi, returns to Barcelona and scores to equalize this first leg against Leipzig. However, that is all she wrote as we tied 1-1 against RB Leipzig. It wasn't the ideal performance, but at least we did not lose this game. But quickly, it was time for the home leg here at the Camp Nou. We drew 1-1. We cannot take this game lightly anymore. RB Leipzig did disappoint us in the last game, but Messi in the team surely should carry us to a victory. And in the 46th minute, we have another penalty for Lionel Messi. You can call him Pessi if you want, but Lionel Messi, he does score. Even if Mingole goes the right way, Messi is not missing that penalty. We go 1-0 up against Leipzig. And guess what? Another boring ass game as we win 1-0 and pass on aggregate to the round of 16. Let's go ahead and see who we're facing in the quarterfinals. Our 2-1 aggregate win against Leipzig isn't as impressive, but who do we have in the quarters and we have Real Madrid. We have our classical rivals and the best team in the world, bro. This cannot be happening. Why are we playing against Real Madrid, man? But after knocking out RB Leipzig out of the round of 16, we move from 10th place all the way to 6th place. But like I mentioned before, we are playing the greatest team in the world, the best team in the world in Real Madrid, who are also our classical rivals. These games are not going to be easy. But it is time for the first leg against our classical rivals in the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. If we get knocked out of the Champions League, we have to go ahead and finish the league season and hopefully qualify. We should be qualifying La Liga and go again next season until we eventually become the best team in the world. And playing against the best team in the world already in the quarters is not an ideal situation. Vinicius Jr. threw ball to Karim Benzema. He has so much space, but it's Araujo. Araujo's amazing center back, but gives it back to Vinicius. Vinicius has space. Vinicius Jr. with a shot. And it's terrible defending, shit defending even by me as Vinicius Jr. puts him 1-0 up in the 37th minute. There's still so much time, so I think we could still ahead and go ahead and turn around this game. Usman Dembele looking for some space. Dembele gives it to Lionel Messi. Through ball to Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati looks for a shot and he hits the crossbar. Usman Dembele with a follow up and he bottles it. That was the opportunity to equalize the game, but we just couldn't finish, man. Frankie de Jong playing against his old teammates. Looking for brilliant through ball into Karim Benzema. 1v1. It's all up to Mark Andrew to stake Benzema with a shot. The Ballon d'Or winner. No way Karim Benzema misses that shot as we go 2 0 down. In the first leg against Real Madrid, I think this game is over. We have to somehow score three goals in the second leg to somehow qualify for the next round. And yes, like I mentioned, Real Madrid do pick up a 2-0 victory at home. We have to turn this game around in the second leg. After that Real Madrid loss, we move from 6th place to 8th place in the club rankings. But there is no time to waste as we're back here in the Camp Nou. Can Messi inspire a comeback in the quarterfinals of the Champions League? Dembele with a pass to Lionel Messi and here comes Messi 1v1 against Carvalhar Messi is way too fast can Carvalhar catch up no Lionel Messi has a shot and he puts it away past Thibaut Courtois with his first shot of the game that's one goal if he scores two more goals we can somehow inspire a comeback here and go on to the semi-finals and beat the best team in the world Dembele gives it to Lionel Messi no way he scores again Lionel Messi has a shot Lionel Messi and he does thank god we signed him he has given us hope once again in this quarterfinal, if we can score one more goal, we can go through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. We are officially in extra time. Benzema has a penalty to destroy our dreams and he puts it away. Kareem Benzema has scored a goal, which possibly knocks us out of the Champions League. There's still a lot of time left. Hopefully, we somehow score this goal. 117 minutes played. It's Rafinha. Can we somehow score in the last minute of the game? Rafinha, he misses it. But Lionel Messi's open. Lionel Messi has done it. Every time he needs somebody, bro. Especially when it comes to Barcelona. Lionel Messi is always there. He has saved us at least to go to penalties. To go ahead and go to the Champions League semi-final. But yes, it is time for penalties against Real Madrid. El Clasico penalties. It cannot get any better than this. Frank is here to take the first penalty and he puts it away even though Courtois goes the same way and now Karim Benzema scored a penalty earlier can he score another one and yes he does he puts it away but Rafinha missed a shot earlier that led to a messy goal can Rafinha put this one and yes he does bottom left corner and now Real Madrid Luka Modric one of the best players of this generation can he go in and score and no Marc Andre Ter Stegen makes a save and Lionel Messi scored a hat trick in this game can he score fourth goal and he skies it Lionel Messi misses Rodrigo, please miss this. Rodrigo chips it. Just take it, makes a save. How did Messi miss that, by the way? Ferran Torres, can he make it? 3 1, and yes, he does. There's still enough time. If Real Madrid missed this, if Vinicius missed this, we are through to the semi finals of the Champions League and are closer to achieving our dream. Vinicius Jr. 
versus Mark andre Ter Stegen and Andre Ter Stegen saves us and he sends us to the semi-final alongside Messi. They carried us to the semi-finals and now we're very close to achieving our dreams. After beating Real Madrid in the quarters, it's time to find out who we're playing in the semis and we have Inter Milan. We didn't get PSG, but Inter Milan is not the easiest team. After that comeback against Real Madrid, we moved from 8th place all the way to 1st place. Yes, for the first time with Barcelona, we are the best team in the world. However, this tournament is not over and we can easily move down the places if we get knocked out. So we do have the first leg at the San Siro against the 3rd best team in the world in Inter Milan. It's not the ideal opponent, but you know what? It at least isn't PSG. Lautaro Martinez on the ball. Lautaro, we're not going to concede from this. Through ball to Eden Dzeko. We should defend this Eden Dzeko with a shot out of all the players players bro Eden Dzeko to score against us no disrespect to him hasn't had an amazing career but he's at the age of like 37 now we shouldn't be losing this first leg against Inter but guess what I was completely wrong we somehow lost to Inter Milan that Eden Dzeko goal was literally the only attack of the game and that loss to Inter Milan puts us all the way down to third place as they're looking favorites to go on to the next round of the final but we are back to our strength playing at the Camp Nou we always perform at home that's where our comeback was to Real Madrid and that's when we beat RB Leipzig can we go ahead and turn this game around, turn this tie around once again at the Camp Nou. Fati gets the ball. Fati gives it to Lionel Messi. Finesse shot with his right foot, it's safe, but here comes Ubalde the ability, puts it away. We're not gonna celebrate. 15 minutes in, we equalize the aggregate. There's still so much time left to play. Hopefully, let's not let it turn around in the bad foot and we end up getting knocked out in the semi finals of the Champions League. 36 minutes in, Lukaku has a penalty. Let's stay cool, come and collect it. Lukaku with a shot and it goes in. Topped right hand corner Lukaku was not missing that we're back down again on aggregate looking lefty we're not gonna make it to the next round 56 minutes in again Inter have a penalty Lukaku to take it and Mark Andre just taking makes a save this time we dodge a bullet Pablo Gavi on the ball we're looking for some space Gavi gives it to Frank Kessier Frank Kessier through ball into Usmane Dembele and he gets his second goal we have equalized it on aggregate we do not want to go to pens we still have around 27 to 37 minutes left to go we still have a lot of time to win this game Messi gives the ball to Fati I see Messi once again Messi versus the world when he does this he always scores can he score once again and yes he does never a doubt in my mind that Lionel Messi was gonna win I mean who's gonna miss that shot but we may have possibly won the tie and we may be in the Champions League final by the next game and yes the referee blows the whistle that Messi goal was enough to send us to the Champions League final but it's time to find out are we gonna be playing PSG or are we somehow gonna be playing Tottenham Hotspur the bottle jobs and yes it has been confirmed we are playing against PSG Messi's literal old club in the final of the Champions League in order for us to become the best team in the world and after that Inter Milan win of course PSG stay up top and we're in second place but of course if we win this game we will be the best team in the world but here we go we are walking out for the champions league final in a turkish stadium we have gone through so much so far with barcelona in only one season messi has returned and has absolutely carried us man but it's time to find out can he help barcelona deliver a champions league title for the first time in over six years let me tell you something you already know the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. PSG have a corner in the first minute of the game. There's no way we concede this. Our defense has been relatively strong in this season. And it's a shot by Mbappe. It's a save. Now we have a corner. Dembele crosses it in. We're looking for Messi, but they clear it out. Wilson Fati with a... Oh my bro. I can't even speak, man. Imagine if that shit would have gone in, bro. Pedri in the 50th minute. He gives it to Ferran Torres. I see Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Can he go ahead and save us once again? Lionel Messi with a shot. And he has scored. This could be the Champions League win. The goal. Of course, but who else but Barcelona's greatest player of all time? He could return and his first season back, he wins the Champions League already. But guess what? The ref blows the whistle. It was a horrible, terrible, boring game. But Lionel Messi does enough to reward Barcelona. That Champions League, we're about to become the best team in the world. Messi lives that Champions League as we take over PSG becoming the best team in the world. And of course, Lionel Messi had to be the one to take us there. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you guys will definitely enjoy me making Arsenal the best team in the world.